Hello, today I'm coming to you from the top of Knob Hill in San Francisco. I'm at Grace Cathedral outside on top of the labyrinth here. Today I'm going to be talking about walking meditations. And walking meditations are where you bring your awareness to each step as you take it. So a way that you can do this is you can really focus as you take each step on what does it feel like, what sensations do you get in your foot, in your leg, all the way up. And you could even take them slower and just really bring your awareness to the steps. You could do it while walking through your apartment. You could do it, you could actually go outside for a 10 minute walk. You could also come to a labyrinth and a labyrinth will actually bring you into the moment because you're focused on the path as you walk through. This here is an 11 circuit labyrinth. What that means is there's 11 different turns that you take until you get to the center. And when you walk a labyrinth, what it does is it clears your mind, it centers you, it brings you into the moment, which helps you reduce stress and it really quiets your mind and your body. So it, you know, it's a walking meditation. And you could set an intention when you walk through the labyrinth. Uh, it, maybe it's a question that you have that you want some sort of understanding of an answer on or some sort of uh, help and guidance. Um, or you could just walk through with no intention at all. There is a labyrinth that is on the dirt right along Land's End Trail in San Francisco, with a big view of, right by the Golden Gate Bridge. And there's rocks that go around it. And so when I took a walk through that labyrinth, I had set an intention of, um, I had these two choices in life and I didn't know which one I was going to pick. And so I, I, that was what I walked through is like helping to get some clarity on which choice was the right one. So as I'm walking through, the rocks were a little bit uh, jambled up at one point and I didn't know which direction the labyrinth was supposed to have me go. And so I got confused and I had to make a decision, well, I just have to choose one direction. And when I went through, I ended up bumping into people and realized that that was not the intention of the labyrinth. So I was going the wrong way. But what came to me as part of this spiritual journey on that labyrinth was that there is no wrong way to go. There were a few obstacles I had to, you know, step aside for, but there really was no wrong path to take. And it really helped me come to an answer too on which decision I was going to make in my own life. So. Um, also, at the points where the labyrinth turns like this, what it really does for me is it reminds me of the inevitable changes in life as you're walking down your path, and it reminds me of the unpredictability and the impermanence of life. So I invite you to come down to the Grace Cathedral Labyrinth in San Francisco on the top of Knob Hill, or to check out a labyrinth near you. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.